Howdy, I'm Kevin Cameron, and I want to talk about the revolution in major castings that has taken place, resulting in much lighter motorcycles than ever before. An English engineer a couple of years ago asked me to name the greatest advance in engine practice of the 21st century. And as I opened my mouth and nothing much came out, he came to my rescue and said, lighter weight castings by reason of advanced casting technology. When aluminum is melted prior to either injecting it into a die cast mold, a, a die for die casting, or to be poured as a sand casting. Instantly, a layer of aluminum oxide forms on the top of the melt. Now, we're accustomed to seeing a skin form on top of gravy when we take the gravy off of the burner. And we know that take a spoon and stir it up and the skin will disappear. But aluminum oxide is a durable ceramic it's not soluble in molten aluminum. So if you pour liquid aluminum into a mold, as they show them, men wearing heat protective suits, holding manly gear of every sort with smoke and flames rising up as they pour the liquid metal, that highly turbulent pouring process is carrying skins of aluminum oxide into the casting where they will form zones of weakness when it solidifies. It was another uh, English engineer who devised ingenious methods of avoiding the entrainment of these aluminum oxide films by filling the mold from the bottom for one thing and filling it gradually those lightweight ceramic skins float on top of the rising metal and are pushed out the vent holes at the top of the mold. Also by reducing turbulence, don't be in such a hurry, don't pour too fast, don't inject too fast in the case of die castings. When they began to cast metal in this new way under improved control, they found that it didn't take as much metal to achieve the desired strength. So when you look at a part like this, you can see that it's actually quite thin here. This is four millimeters. Look at this thin thing. This, this is wonderfully thin. Back in about the year 2000, Al Ludington, who for years was the crew chief to Miguel de Hamel, the great rider, road race rider, was griping to me. He said, Yamaha's got some newfangled casting process that's letting them make bikes 30 pounds lighter than the one what we've got. Well, of course, no progressive company is going to put up with that kind of a difference for very long. Ducati were one of the last to adopt one of the new casting methods. I believe theirs is called Ritter Vacurol but it involves trying to keep atmospheric oxygen away from the hot metal, low turbulence pouring, bottom filling, all the good things. So all these modern motorcycle engines and indeed the cast frames that most motorcycles now have, they're able to achieve amazingly thin sections and have the part be actually stronger than it was in the massive crankcases of yesteryear. This was one of the first parts that we took off the engine in this series of videos. This is the cam cover. It, it hardly weighs anything. It's just a skinny little thing and yet they're able to produce thousands of these things at low cost. Sound castings with high strength. So I'd say that saving 30 pounds on the weight of a motorcycle is quite an achievement. 